one comment on the news because how could I not comment on the news today? Um, our, uh, uh, you know, panicky, uh, ridiculous president uh, in charge uh, has, uh, yeah, Chazoni, uh, December 8th at the University of Texas in Austin. It, I mean, it's not final, but it looks good that that will happen. Um, our, our president's in chief, our whatever in chief, our panicky, panicky in chief, uh, proving that, um, you know, that now everything is political and everything, I don't need these head headphones, um, that everything is political and everything is a disaster and everything is a mess. Today, uh, Joe Biden announced basically the closest we've come to a vaccine mandate. So he is going to ask, I mean, it's one thing that he has decided all federal workers have to be vaccinated. Fine. I mean, I hope half of them resign and they can't find replacement and the government shrinks by half. I mean, I don't have that much sympathy for government employees. But this is the thing that is really fascist and awful and horrible and, and just a continuation of, of, of what has happened in the past and, and kind of where we're heading. He announced today... He announced today that um, I'm leaning in on the mic because I get excited and then I go back and I lean back in because I get excited. It's, it's what I do. Um, he announced today that he is going to ask OSHA. OSHA is the, I don't know what it stands for, but it's the work safety bureaucracy. It's the agency and the government responsible for work safety. They like, like, they like sending inspectors to make sure everybody's wearing hard hats in a construction site and that everything is good in a factory and whatever, right? OSHA. He is instructing OSHA to mandate that every company that has more than 100 people mandate that all their employees be vaccinated in the name of workplace safety. Now, that's just more of the same, the kind of uh, uh, authoritarianism that we saw from Trump with the, um, with the uh, what do you call it, uh, eviction moratorium, right? Uh, let's have the CDC uh, in the name of fighting uh, COVID issue a vaccine, uh, you know, a, 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 what do you call it, a um, eviction moratorium. What's it going to do with the CDC? What does CDC have to do with landlords and renters and, and, and whether people pay their rent or not? It has nothing to do with it. But OSHA, thank you, best friend Hank, Occupational Health Safety Administration, has nothing to do with vaccines, has nothing to do with COVID, but ooh, if you, if you come to work and you're not vaccinated, you're a threat to the vaccinated people? No. If you are not vaccinated, you're a threat to primarily, mostly, to yourself. But uh, the reason for doing this is pretty clear. Uh, this has nothing to do with science. This has nothing to do with COVID. This has nothing to do with anything related to what is on the minds of Americans right now. This has everything to do with Afghanistan. <laughs> you might be laughing. What is Iran talking about? How has this got to do with Afghanistan? This is basically to divert attention from the Biden administration's complete and utter unequivocal failure with Afghanistan um, and, uh, and how embarrassed they look and the pop, you know, his ratings, favorable ratings plummeted to, uh, to Trump-like numbers. And basically what he's doing is he's trying to create as much story, as much he's acting, he's competent, he knows what he's doing, he's using government to bring about the common good by forcing and coercing us. So he is trying to divert our attention from his failures to show himself as strong and active and engaged with this vaccine mandate and a six-point plan to destroy COVID and everything else. So it's, it's, it's all a charade. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all politics. All politics. 
has nothing to do with COVID. It has nothing to do with anything except the use of force in order to uh, strengthen the political hand of a, of a president in decline. And it'll probably work because most Americans love this kind of stuff, unfortunately. All right, so, I mean, I, it's ton to say about vaccine mandates, but, I, you know, it's boring, and it's predictable, and we're all against it, and um, Apollo says, Brett Weinstein and Rogan saying vaccine, not as effective as natural immunity to the virus. Maybe, but so what? What does that have to do with it? Natural immunity is more generalized against different strains, probably... But so what? You know, none of that. I don't think any of that is important. The fact is, most people haven't had. I, I mean, my view is, and, I, and I'm going to do this about COVID, and then I'm not talking about COVID because we're going to go to the positive topic that we have listed today. I'm going to say this about COVID. I've said it, you know, I've said it a number of times now. People should be tested. I mean, we all should have an incentive to go test ourselves for antibodies. Um, Antibodies will be high either if we had COVID already or if we got the vaccine. If the, if, the, if the antibodies are high, you don't need a vaccine. Your likelihood of you getting sick from COVID, you might get COVID, but the likelihood of getting sick from COVID is very low. So if your antibodies are low, ooh, I think the noise has gone away. If antibodies are low, then you probably, if you want to be protective of COVID, you probably need to be vaccinated or, um, you know, take precautions. That's it. I mean, we've got a measure. We've got a measure. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. 